Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another comic book review. Today I want to take a look at three books The Rocketeer Adventures, The New Atomic Robo series, and Earth 2. Alright, Ultra Maximus back with another comic book review. Um, I've got three books I'm going to take a look at. Um, two of the books are relatively new, one book is actually pretty old. I just happened to find it in a stack of books and forgot about it, so I picked it up and started reading it. We'll talk about that one first. It is IDW's The Rocketeer Adventures, and this is a alternate cover, uh, the sketch art cover. And The Rocketeer, talk about him. Remember him? Uh, he's, it was a Disney movie, I think, right? It was an old 1940s character uh, where he's got the rocket pack suit and the helmet and all that kind of stuff, and he goes out and um, does these little adventures, kind of saves the day kind of thing. And what I like about this comic, and they've had the Rocketeer books out before, but what I like about this one, this particular book, um, as you go through and kind of flip through and look at it, it's mo it's not one story from page one to page end. It's multiple stories. They're small serial-like uh, storylines. So it's like three or four pages each, different writers, different artists, uh, per adventure, there's one, two, three, four, five different stories in this book. Uh, each one's different from a different point of view, different art, um, different writers. I like that a lot. That's very, very cool. Um, I wish I would have picked this up, uh, or read it, actually, because I bought this. I was actually in, I want to say it was in Los Angeles last year, late last year when I bought this book. And I really wish... I would have read it earlier. This is very good stuff. I'm going to have to go back and get some back issues and kind of follow this book again. So if you if you like The Rocketeer or if you like 1940s-era storylines, the short stories, uh, I'm, I'm real big on one-shot books. I like the smaller series type stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's because I got burned out on the gigantic X-Men and Avengers storylines from, like, the 90s and these giant soap operas that take forever to tell. And these are nice, quick, well-done stories, all packaged together in one comic. Very 1940s, very serial-esque um, good stuff. So that's definitely a good book. Kind of on the background. Look at for it in your back issues. Um, the other one is the newest Atomic Robo. I love this character. If you have not read any Atomic Robo books, go to your comic book store and pick up some graphic novels. Uh, this is put out by Red 5 Comics. Um, this is the uh, Real Science Adventures series. And it's, let's see, this is number one. I don't see how many issues. Usually Atomic Robo is like four to six issues. Um, and this is a good one. Great stuff. Again, this is another book like The Rocketeer and the fact that this particular one is set up in multiple little adventures, okay? Um, a lot of the Atomic Robo books are like that, which if you don't know who Atomic Robo is, just kind of a quick idea. He's a robot, an artificially intelligent robot, an android that was built by Tesla, the uh, famous scientist, and he's a genius. He's really smart, goes on these adventures. Um, he's got what he calls this, his, uh, was it? science action team or action science team or something where he's basically running this company this tesla company and the stories can pop anywhere between the 40s and present day or i've seen some that seem to be a little bit in the future and they're just either him remembering something or just happening in a certain period of time um where he's going on and you know he'll fight dr dinosaur or there's some kind of russian robot in this one uh, the main bad guy in the first one, I think, was a floating head and a giant robot. It's just, it's very well done. It's very quippy. It's very intelligent, very tongue-in-cheek. Uh, Bruce Lee makes an appearance in this one. Uh, the last series had, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Lovecraft, H.P. Lovecraft was in it. Uh, they were dealing with uh, the Cthulhu monster and very good stuff. Always an enjoyable read when you pick up an Atomic Robo book. So if you haven't picked one of these up, you must, must go get the graphic novels. They're absolutely wonderful reads, and the new series is called 
real science adventures. So good stuff there. The last book I want to talk about is a DC book, and it's Earth 2. So I've picked up a few of these new 52 books, and we're starting to see the new DC logo, which is the Peel Away sticker logo, where it looks like a D, and you're supposed to peel it away, and it's got a C. Now there's a bunch of these that are out there. Um, they're supposed to match up the different characters, like uh, the Batman one's supposed to look kind of stonish, the Flash of Electricity, Green Lantern will be green. We haven't really seen that yet. They've pretty much all been about like that in the books. <sighs> Gotta say, I miss the old logo. But, isn't that the nature of these logos? Like, they change it. Everybody's like, oh my god, why did they change it? And we bitch and we harp and we complain and like, this is the worst logo ever. And then a couple years later, we don't really care anymore. And then all of a sudden they change it again. We're like, oh man, I remember that one. So anyway, the logo aside, this is the latest book in the new 52 series from DC. I've got mixed feelings about some of the other ones. The Batman books have been okay. Superman's kind of... Uh, I can see where they're trying to... I think they're trying to align the Superman comics with the upcoming Man of Steel movie this year. So... Um, or is it next year? I can't remember Man of Steel is coming out. Anyway, they're, they're trying to, I think, align those together. So what this does is it brings back Earth 2. This is a little different. They're starting over. Uh, it starts with Batman and Superman. And again, spoiler alert, if you have not read this book and you want to read this book and you don't want to know anything, stop watching my video right now because I'm about to ruin your day. Okay, now those people are gone. They basically start off their Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, and Apocalypse is invading Earth. So Dark Side is sending. They got the boob, boom tubes, boob tubes, eh, boom tubes, and they're sending Parademons in. Steppenwolf is leading this assault, and they're trying to defend the Earth from Apocalypse. And essentially, they band together and go to fight them. And the three main characters on this cover die. They wipe them out. The most iconic characters in DC die in the very first book. That's an interesting way to start things, which is much different than the Earth 2 of the past. Um, did not really expect that coming, I'll, I'll tell you that. I really like Robin in this one is um, Helena Kyle, uh, who in our universe is a huntress. And she shows up in the book... As Robin and I, I really dig this version of Robin I like the look I like the R up here on the uh, cape she's got a red mask and she has green hair I, I'm, I'm digging it she looks pretty good she's got black hair with green uh, streaks in it and I'm looking forward to this character some more uh, Supergirl's looking okay not too bad um, kind of powered up kind of thing. Well, so they kill them off. Well, Supergirl and Robin then go into the boom tube. Um, I'm presuming it's dark side. Like, after everybody's dead, there's a boom tube that's still open. There's a figure standing there or something. I don't know who it is. And they fly into it to chase it. Well, um, I know there's a New World's Finest with Supergirl and Batgirl. Or Supergirl and... Robin or Batgirl, I don't know if she becomes Batgirl or whatever the deal is, so it says to be continued in the New World's Finest. So I'm going to have to pick that up and see where that goes. Um, and then the end of the book is basically it's... Oh, who do we have here? We've got... Da, 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 da. Alan Scott, so we got a Green Lantern, um, and he's in a green shirt. <clears throat> He's basically a CEO. It's kind of, he reminds me of Oliver Queen from Smallville, the character does. And he's obviously set to become the Green Lantern at some point. And then here at the end of the book, we've got um, Jay Garrick, who becomes the Flash. Uh, essentially, uh, the there's a war. When you read the books, you find out that there's a war the the war between um, apocalypse and, and earth the old gods the the greek gods are involved because mercury comes and talks to wonder woman well um you know he's talking about how some of them are dying and being killed 
by the new gods, so I'm sure that's going to probably come out. We'll see a battle of the new gods or something. But at the end of the book, Mercury comes back and basically tells Jay Garrick, hey, we need heroes, and he's going to be the Flash. So it's setting up different um, origin stories for the other superheroes, Green Lantern, Flash, I'm sure Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, and all those guys and gals are going to be in there. Um, that are different from the first series. So that's where they're going with this. They want it to kind of be a little bit different. And killing off the three bigs, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman in the first half of book one, definitely a way to go. Um, like I said, I didn't expect to see that coming. I was kind of unsure about the book. Never was that big of a fan of Earth 2 from uh, the 80s. Um, there were some characters they pulled out of it uh, after Crisis that were okay, but um, I was interested to see where they're going, and they've actually caught my attention, so I, I will give them that. I think this is probably, of the books that have been out, I do like the new Swamp Thing. Uh, Batman has been okay, and I'm, not, I'm still kind of hit and miss with Superman. Out of all the books, I think this is probably one of the better ones because it's very different and it kind of grabs you and, and it's going to go a different direction. So hopefully we go somewhere good with this. So thanks for watching, guys, and look for more comic book reviews in the future.